Hello guys, it's good to see you again. For those of us who plant yams in sacks, we know that there is a, a major disadvantage to the environment, especially when you are using a sack that is non-biodegradable. So we've been trying to look for alternatives. I know that is something that will overcome in the future, but let's start thinking, start to think outside the bus. Now, you have seen me do videos on how to grow crops using carton. I've grown sweet potatoes, so I'm taking it a step further to actually demonstrate how I have succeeded in growing yams using cartons. Cartons are stuff that you've used and you want to dispose of, so something like this. So is it possible that we can use them to grow crops? And the good thing is that they are biodegradable. That's exactly what this video is all about. We'll just go straight to what we have. Now, this carton, uh, I got them from a store and they were about to just dispose them off. But I found a way to use them to grow crops. And the advantage is this. These cartons are biodegradable. You just use them for one season and that's all. They will not pollute the soil. Now, but there's a major disadvantage also. They are made from paper. Would they be able to withstand the rain and carry the amount of soil that you require to grow yams for about six months minimum? That's a very, very big challenge for me. But I've been able to overcome it in a way and I'll still get what I want. That's exactly what we are demonstrating now. If you see what we have done here, these are cartons that have loaded soil in and I'm ready to plant my seeds. And let me also point here that there is a unique type of seed that you plant in cartons like this. So make sure you watch till the end so that you understand what I'm talking about. Now, when I used it to grow potatoes, I actually used a very thick carton and to a very large extent, it lasted for about three months. And of course, it gave way. They all got decomposed and we added to the soil. Now, I decided to have also planted yams, the same thickness. But I realized that before it got to that time uh, where I was going to harvest, majority of the carton, in fact, the majority of them were just out. So I decided to do a modification. And what's the modification? Now, if you look at the, one, the carton I'm holding now, it's actually double. This single carton itself has double thickness. I used this type last year and it did work, but did not work that well, did not last till the time I needed it. So what I have decided to do now in this experiment is to make it double again, get this one and another smaller one that can enter in so that instead of having just double, I will now have something like, you know, four layers kind of. That's exactly what you can see here. So this is another layer another layer, a smaller one that I've just put in here. And I've made it this way. Also take note that it is hollow. Yeah, it is hollow. So what you just need to do, and that's exactly what I've done here, which is just to put down and you load your soil in here. Now, when you load your soil, the next thing will be to plant. So if you can see this one, now this one is a, a big one. And the one that's next to it, I just put it inside. So I, I'm having up to about four layers. Now, even if you don't have the one you can put in directly, you can just get a flat one and use it to form the inner side. So that the whole idea, the principle is that get a minimum of four layers. I've used two layers before and they did not stand the test of time that I wanted. They help with potatoes, 
not quite with yams, but now I'm doing four layers. And you follow me in this experiment, we are going to see how it goes. Now, if you see this one, this particular carton, I didn't get any one that would enter in. What I just did was to get another one to form a circle kind of inside. So it's still the same thing. So I've loaded my soil. So I want to see how this will eventually go. Now, water, paper, they don't really, really agree, kind of. So how are we going to also help sustain this carton so that at the end of it all, it will stay till the end of the season. And please let me state here, this is experimental. I hope it works. It may not be practicable for commercial, in quote, yami sack farming. But for those of us who grow stuff in our back, those are, those are my major focus. Those people are my major, because for me, I want to grow food for my family and at the end, save some cost for my family. All right, so we can actually do this. So what we'll do now is, when we put here, I will want to load our soil. After loading the soil, this is what I do. If you check all these cartons, I've done that. I will take a rope or twine that is strong enough. Because when you put load in soil like this and it starts to rain, of course, the, this one is paper. They will probably start to give way. And of course, of course, the weight here will start making the stuff. To, and again, you are going to plant yams that will expand also, that will increase in size. So you need something that will help braise your carton. This is what I do. I'll just take my rope, let it be tight. You can actually do that before you load in your soil, it doesn't matter. Or you do that after you have loaded your soil. Now I'll tell you when, for this one that is intact, you can actually just, uh, you can actually just load your, I mean, you can tie before loading your soil, you see? Because so this one is my brazing stuff. So, with this now, this one will be resisting the outward expansion. So with this, I can just load my soil. You can, you can just load this stuff by your balcony, behind your house and all that. That's one. But if I don't have carton like this, and I have something, maybe the carton has opened and it's now flat. All I need to do, this is exactly what I've done here. Please bring the camera closer. This is what I have done here. This one was just a flat uh, carton. It was flat and wide. So what I did was to wrap it around like a wrapper. Just wrap it around. Of course, this is the end here. This is another end. What I now did was to use the, my rope to brace. I used my rope to brace as far as it has formed a cavity, a hollow. Of course, it can house my soil. This is about four layer thick. So I'm going to see if it will stand the test of time. Another thing I like to do, I will mention it here, to prevent water from just destroying it fast. If you check, almost all the edges, they are rounded kind of. I don't just leave hanging like this. Because this place easily gets damaged. So, of course, because it's a lid, I just bend it in. Of course, this place, at least to an extent, will be able to resist some form of uh, rain. That's one. Now, I've stated this. The next thing to do is to do some form of planting. And I want to tell you exactly the kind of seed that you should plant. Don't go away. All right, now, before we do the planting, there's something else I want to show you. You know, you can actually also arrange these cartons in layers. It depends. 
This is exactly what I intend to do here. Uh, if you see this cattle now, it is about just about maybe 10 inches in height. It's not as as uh, long as this, it's not as high as this one. I can go way yarn from all this because it's hollow, so the yarn will have a place to really go down. But this one is short. To the best of my knowledge, what I can do with this one is to plant cediums, which is what I want to. I'll just use them to plant cediums. I can get up to about six cediums from here. You understand? Then I will carry this one and put it on top of this. You know why? Because this one is wider than this. So I can get the height I want for where I'm using this. So you can now see that with this now. It's leveling with this one. You understand? So that's another thing you can try out. So I'm going to plant CDMs here. They'll just go down, of course. Then I'll put this one, load my soil. But there's a unique way I want to do the planting. I'm going to do the planting now. Then we'll now do the loading and do that. So, like I said earlier, if you look at these cartons, the type of seed you should plant, actually, they are the seeds that, to a very large extent, they have sprouted. They have sprouted. They have sprouted. Now, it's very, very, the reason is very, very simple. You know they are cattle. We are trying to buy time here. So, the earlier the yams start to grow, the shorter the time that we are going to have them and we'll be able to achieve our purpose. So, if you go and plant a seed that has not broken dormancy, that will be an issue. It will be a very big issue because at the end, it would have taken like one month to sprout out. And, of course, the half-life of your, of course, your carton is going. So, it's better to get seeds like this. All right. Now, to demonstrate that. Right. To demonstrate planting seed yams and for where yams here. What I'm going to do is simple. These are just uh, mini tubers. 25 gram, maximum 50 gram. How many do I have? I have about six. So, I'm going to plant such that their, their sprouts will come out from the side. Are we getting it now? Yeah. They will just come out from the side of... Okay. So, now there are about six here. That's, that's it. I'll just put them this way before I will now put this carton. This one. Remember, I'll brace this one later, obviously. Alright? Now, if you check now, all the ones that are put under, they have the opportunity of sprouting away. So, they are going to sprout from here. They are going to sprout from here. So, make sure that they are not trapped inside here. That's why you must get seeds that already have sprouts. Now, the next thing to do, this is something that you should take note of. I'm going to load in soil here. Remember, I've already put soil here. The kind of soil I'm going to load here, I'll make it lighter than the one that is down. How do I do that? Two ways. See that you mix the soil 50%, 50-50, with sawdust, or you mix with rice husk. That way, the weight of the one here will not be as much as this. So the weight that this one will be carrying will not be much because every weight from here is going to be resting on this. So this is the soil that I've made with rice husk. And I'm going to load in here now. I'm going to load in here before I will plant. I will do my planting here. So, this soil is going to be very is porous. It has some soy and rice husk. I'm not worried. You can actually just use rice husk. If you want to use sawdust here, you can do that. 
if you want to but you know that you have to feed that particular story very well now that i've done this i'm sure so i can now carry my soil and cover this one here at least the ones down so i'm having two layers now of carton now i'm sure most of you would have seen this in my short video before where i use sacks to do this i'll just probably show you the one i've done before and how it will look like all right now that i've done this this place is big enough for me to plant two uh, seeds that definitely to a large extent will give me something big this i'll plant here this one this one has two sprouts i don't want to sprout I'll just remove one so i'll plant here so i'm good all right i cover so i've already planted it next thing is this you remember always brace you brace in order to help the lifespan so you bring two braces here all right okay this one this one is long so i'm going to double my my rope so that it will go around thing about this my this my rope is that it can expand can all right so don't go away because I'm going to show you what this will look like time this of course the remaining other seeds i'm going to plant them here so let me show you how this looks like all right guys these are the ones that i've done before now but of course this one is not cut on it's tapolin and sack uh this one is a discussion for another day something i'll have to talk about real well but look at what i'm trying to bring out here you see different layers this layer one layer two and the top layer they are all growing this one is green this one is growing and this one is growing but of course the carton we have just done now is two layers so some will grow out from you of course the ones that are here they have very long distance to enter the ground so if you plant a large tuber here as in where i am here it has the room to go down because there is no there's there's just no barrier between here and the down so it can just go down so this is what we want to simulate with that carton but how it's going to fare is something that we we'll have to watch out for so somehow this is the part one of this video and i'm sure you are eager to see what will happen are we going to be able to grow where yams from this particular for, from these cartons that we have talked about today is it something that you can you can actually even join me in this experiment and i'm sure you will not have any regrets i want you to know that we have grown potatoes from carton before why not check this out next video for that. Thanks and God bless.